Ugh. Thought I'd never make it. You're making a big mistake, lady. We were meant for each other. Just shut up, you. I'm not gonna listen to your lies anymore. Do you hear me? Hello, officers. Could you tell me where I might find Lieutenant Kellaway? Second floor, room 217. No, sir. You're going right where you belong. Uh, there it is. I don't give a damn if he hasn't got any prior arrest. This psychotic SOB is not getting any bail if I could stop Easy, it. Easy, Lieutenant! If you don't cease this manhandling immediately, I shall be forced to file a complaint. As for my client's bail, I think we'll let the arraigning judge decide that. Bonneville, if I ever catch you so much as jaywalking, I'll put you away for life. It's alright, Lionel. I'm not gonna run after them. What the hell can I do with one arm? Your problem is you get too damn involved. I could understand with that big-headed guy, but Repez is just another scumbag dealer. Not true, pal. Not true. You weren't with me when I started on my file on Rapez. Only reason he's in on trafficking and possession is because nothing else would stick. Lieutenant? Hmm? Uh, hi there. Remember me? I'm Kathy. Sure, sure. I'm sorry about your boyfriend. Oh, it was a shock, but we had just broken up. I guess I'm over it now. Please, come into my office. Have a seat. I'm heading down to Donut Fear. You want anything? No, thanks. Donut Fear? Yeah, that's the sergeant's idea of a joke. The place is called Donut Fear. It's not very good. But you didn't come here for humor. How can I help you? Well, I hope you won't be angry for not coming to you earlier, but I think you may find the answers to a lot of questions in this bag. That must be some bag. Looks like you brought me the wrong bag. The only thing in here is one big question, such as, what the hell is this thing? That's your criminal, the cause of all your problems with that... that guy you chased all over town last month. What? I know it sounds crazy, but if you were to put that mask on, you'd see what I mean. Well, that certainly was a wild case. Maybe I will try it on. No! Don't put it on! Don't ever put it on! What? But you said... Look, this whole ordeal has probably been more of a strain than you thought. After you've gotten some sleep, give me a call and we can discuss this more rationally. You're right. I haven't slept in days. But I should be able to now. I'll call you tomorrow. No hurry here. Don't forget this. Oh no, I don't ever want to see that thing again. It's the police department's responsibility now. Do you hear me? I won't take it back. Okay, okay. And remember, whatever you do, don't let anybody wear that thing. Got it. You are going home tonight, aren't you? Sure, sure. Hold your horses. I've been meaning to ask. What's that? Oh, that lady who was here earlier forced it on me. Said it was important. She was pretty upset, so I played along. You're not gonna leave it there, are you? Why the hell not? What if the captain sees it? You try explaining to him why evidence isn't properly filed. You know how he's been riding us these past few weeks? It might look bad. All right, already. I'll take it home and put it under my pillow. Happy? Why did I ever become a cop? I haven't been so frustrated since I was going through puberty. If it's not scumbag lawyers legally obstructing justice, it's a hard-nosed captain out to nail me for not making an arrest in the Big Head case. I would've liked to have seen him handle that super sicko. Home sweet home. And as for you, I'll bet you belong to that poor girl's boyfriend. Probably scared her to have you around. Duff does that to folks. Scares them, I mean. Especially murder. Well, enough chit-chat, friend. Time for dinner. Tuna salad always tastes best after a couple days in the fridge. What'd you say again? Don't ever put it on? She was obviously distraught. Holy Toledo, the little lady was right! When you look at that, my arm's all better! Why, it's a miracle! <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's just me. Hi there. If I'm not mistaken, there are some distinct advantages to this guy's. Well, here goes nothing. Hot <laughs> damn, I didn't feel a thing! No, oh, this is too much! <laughs> fun is fun, but let's give this a real test. Gee, if this doesn't work, won't I feel stupid? Much better. Let her rip! <laughs> This is great! Unbelievable, but great! The captain will flip when he sees this. Oh, wait a minute. What am I talking about? Screw the captain. I got some police business to attend to. Stop looking at your watch. I'm quite aware that he's late. But keep in mind, he's a very busy man. We're quite lucky he will see us at all. Mm, I have to see someone at 11 o'clock. Will he be here before then? Probably. Sorry to be so late, David, but today was crazy. Not to worry. Stephen Lister, this is Eugene Rapez. Ah, Mr. Rapez, nice to meet you. As it is to meet you. As you can see, I got Mr. Rapez released on reasonable bail. I wouldn't be here if I didn't think you could manage that much on your own. But of course, there are other problems. The police took Mr. Rapez in on this trafficking charge to get him off the streets for a while. It's my understanding they believe this will make their informants less intimidated by my client, more willing to talk, even testify. Frankly, this strategy could work. So I am, let's say, motivated to seek an early release for my client. How motivated? Even if they can't collect enough evidence for further charges, the trafficking charge might stick. Hmm, unless that is you intervene. I see, I see. Well, of course I can't make you any guarantees, but I'll see what I can do. Hmm, that is all that I ask? Thanks again, Steven. Well, let's order some food, eh? And have anything you want, gentlemen. Dinner's on me. Are you sure that's everything, Granny? Yes. 
It's all there. I've done everything you've asked. You aren't going to shoot me, are you? I told you that if you cooperate, I wouldn't shoot you. And I ain't gonna shoot you. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yes. Where's the car, man? Where's the friggin' car? Look, down there. Nothing's wrong with the car. It won't start. Won't start? Won't start? I don't believe this is happening. What did you do to it, man? I didn't do nothing. Just shut up, okay? M maybe I can fix it real fast. I think it's your carburetor, pal. It's a good thing you guys steal American. These foreign engines can be so damn cramped. Awfully dirty, though. Don't stare at me, kid. I'm telling you, it's the carburetor. Here, see it for yourself. Let me ask you guys something. Aren't you supposed to wear those things on your legs? Ah! Phyllis! Hey, Phyllis, wait for me! I think we lost them. Yeah, you must have thrown them off. Uh, track them w when we double back. Come on, let's go see if Wheels is still alive. And for Christ's sake, take that stocking off your head. Great, well, we can't go this way. Hey, what's that sound? Now that I have your undivided attention, I'd like to demonstrate the art of balloon sculpting. Now watch a few quick turns of the wrist. You idiot, there's cops right around the corner. And shooting didn't work before anyways. And behold, we have a giraffe. A couple of well-placed twists. Voila, a French poodle. Several more twists. And we have my favorite, a dummy gun. Hey, you hear that? Yeah, came from over there. Let's move. Hey, Derek, where the hell are you? Sorry, Ben, I was checking on the old lady, but she's beyond our help. We gotta be careful getting him on board. He's got a neck injury. All set, driver. Let's roll. He just... just came out of the car. Easy, pal, easy. Try not to move your head, okay? Give him this. It'll put him to sleep in seconds. I'm going to tape his head down, minimize any movement. You got it, pal. Huh? Uh... Hi there! Remember me? No, ma'am, we can't give out home numbers anyway. I'm sure he's on his way right now. He's usually in by 9.15. Yes, I'll have him call you. Ah, oh, what a gorgeous day. What? It's so humid out there. I had to swim to work. Well, it's good to be alive anyway, isn't it? Last night you seen the thing otherwise. Oh, well, that was last night. It was just a matter of some tension-relieving exercises and I'm fit as a fiddle. Tension-relieving, huh? Well, that explains this call. You hear about the hold-up murders on the west side last night? No, but hold on a second. I have to make a call first. Yes, I know I must have sounded crazy, but I was desperate to get rid of that thing. It really scared me. You... you didn't try it on, did you? Try what on? The mask? No, you made it clear that I shouldn't do that, so I didn't. Besides, I don't think it's my size. Lieutenant, are you making fun of me? No ma'am, not at all. Just trying to add some levity to the matter. You know, use some of the fears you might have. But don't you worry about that mask anymore. I've got it now, and I promise I'll never let it out of my sight, okay? Yes, I'll be sure to call you if I have any more questions. You have a good day now. <laughs> now, Lido, I believe you had a story you wanted to tell me? Hmm. So on the way to the hospital, the perp gets a broken neck. Probably when the ambulance hit a bump. While the attendant is all doped up, still hasn't come to. Good morning, Captain. How can we help you? You two can get your lazy asses into my office. Someone from the DA's office wants to talk to you. Insufficient evidence? What the hell are you talking about, insufficient evidence? The heroin seized in the bus cannot be located in the evidence locker. We have no other choice but to release Mr. Rapez. I don't know what kind of show you're running, Kellaway, but there's gonna be a full investigation. You're damn right there is. Start right here. I want your full name, Buster. I want to talk to the DA about you. The name is Stephen Lister. I'm the district attorney's personal assistant, and I assure you, he is fully aware of the facts in the case of Mr. Rapez. However, you are welcome to call you if you wish to speak to him. Anytime after 2 o'clock. We'll be rather busy until then. You're doing just great, Lieutenant. Just great. You lose our only suspect in the most talked about crimes of the decade, and now you let Eugene Rapaz slip through your fingers! What are you gonna do for an encore? <laughs> Just wait and see, Lord, bud. Just wait and see.